You're talking to the G.I. Joe t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, hot wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. It's that uncultured heathen. It's your boy Beef. We back here today with another unboxing. We doing G.I. Joe Classified. Been waiting on this one. We doing Jason Shockwave Faria Ferreira. Anyway, Shockwave been waiting on this one. So we're gonna bust it open, see what it's all about. So without further ado, the old man goggles on. The flare for toys now. We got the scissors if we need it. And we just get into it. Now this is one of my favorite ones as a kid. I always liked the dude. Uh, SWAT team looking cat. He was always on my squad when I was younger. So, you know, a little nostalgia factor there, whatever. So, let's get him out the box. See what we got. Got his little locker box. Number 105. Shockwave. All right. There he is in his plastic prison. Let's get him cut out of here. Got that. All right. Let's see. Ah, oh, you kidding me? Mother. <clears throat> Just what I'm talking about, Hasbro. I've been waiting so long for this figure. Mm. I'm about. Mm. Look, look. That hand broke. All I was doing was trying to bend up the elbow and pop. Man, I, mm, you gotta be kidding me. Well, not a good way to start Christmas Eve day. But, we're gonna keep going. We're going to go on with one-handed shockwave and do the rest of the review. Man. And I thought this figure might be in my top 10. But it can't go in my top 10 with one hand. All I did was push the elbow up and boom, it popped off. And not where you can pop it back in either. Oh well, we'll get the accessories out. Man. Hard times and disappointment. Feel like dusty roads. Man. I've been waiting on this figure too. But we'll get another one. You just have to wait a little longer. I like the little hat. Can't even really put the shield on him. Cause he won't fit on that hand. <laughs> Man, this is this is ridiculous. Yep. We can just hook it on there with no hand. Checking my damn head. Got a little nightstick. Got a couple little Uzis. They the same. Got a hook knife. Got another knife. And he got two clips for the Uzis. Uh, so one knife goes there, one goes up top. 
<laughs> yeah, as y'all can see, I'm a little bit disappointed right now. But I'm trying to remain professional. But anyway, got the two Uzis. I apologize, this video ain't very good. It kind of just got me in my, my, my emotions, you know. I've been waiting all this time. Hasbro been late shipping it to me. And then I get it, and boom. But, whatever. I still just blame like this for right now, and I'll end up getting another one. But I shouldn't have to. But it is what it is. I mean, mm, this should have been a really good review. This is a really good figure. Except for the hand just popped off on me. So, I can't put it in my top 10 countdown with a broke hand. But otherwise, man, it's really nice. Really good detail. They just got to fix the quality issues. There's no way that my little thumb is just barely touching that hand while I'm pushing up the elbow that it should have popped off. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, we're not going to go no longer with this one orange bandit. But it's a shockwave. Man, it's just such a nice figure except for that. But thank you, Hasbro. Anyway, y'all let me know if y'all had any issues out of yours. Hopefully not. But, you know, I've had heard people, not this figure itself, but arms popping off and different stuff. But I hadn't really had that happen. The only thing I had happen was some weapons being messed up. Or I did drop a barbecue on the floor and it, you know, busted. But that was my fault. I dropped it. But, oh, just... Just a little disappointment, but we're going to get through the day. It's Christmas Eve. I ain't going to let Hasbro ruin it for me. Y'all don't either. Y'all have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas, and I'm out.